All right, this video is going to be about how to make an assignment in Google Classroom. So when you get, when you click on the link to get to Google Classroom, you always see all your classes. So to make an assignment, you have to click on the class that you want to make the assignment in. And it always brings you straight to your stream. To make an assignment, we're going to click on Classwork at the top. And then we're going to click create because we want to create an assignment. You have lots of different options here. Um, the option we're going to look at right now is just the assignment option. So we're going to click on assignment. Now it pulls up this form. You have lots of options. So I'm going to go through each option. Let's look at the right side first. Um, is saying who's it for so you can click this all the classes that you are a teacher of will show up so if it's just for the one class you just want to click that class if you'd like to post it in more than one class you can click and now it'll post to my two classes so for this activity we're just going to do one class now this other tab or drop down menu I'm sorry is for students so you can click these will be all the students that are signed up for your class um, you can assign different assignments for each student so I can unclick I only want this assignment to go to Luna and Kennedy or I can click all students so now it's going to show up in all my students Google classroom so for this activity I'm going to click all students you also have a point points drop down when you click this you can change the points if it's 10 questions, you want to keep it out of 100, question, 100 points, or you can click ungraded. You're not going to grade this, um, so that's optional too. I'm going to click ungraded. Due. When you set a due date, um, it's going to show up in their Google Classroom. So all you do is you click the drop down menu and you can click the date and it pops up a calendar so you can pick, let's say it's going to be due next Friday. Um, you can set a time if you want, so like at midnight or however you want to do that. This, when you have set that due date now and when they log into Google Classroom, so I'm just going to pop up here to show you what it's going to look like. When they pop, when they go to Google Classroom, right here in their upcoming, if, it, if your assignment has a due date, it'll pop up here that they have such and such assignment due on Monday the 27th or whatever date it says. So if, you, if you're going to ask them to turn it in, giving a due date is um, probably the way to do it because it's going to pop up right here so they know exactly what assignments they have and when it's due. Or if they haven't turned it in and it's past due date, it'll say missing right here as well. So I'm just going to go back to sh where we were so I can show you. So that's the due date. Um, topic. This is kind of like a heading. So let me let me go back and show you. Under my classwork, we've already done this. I have a topic. So I have an art topic, a Keto Extraordinary by Natalie Lloyd topic, a Let's Talk Flip Grip topic. So my assignments, once I assign them a topic, will go under the heading or the topic. So right now, uh, I'm just going to put this assignment under art. You can also create a topic right from here. So if you forgot to create a topic, you can just create a topic. I'm going to put video. So now when I go back to my Google Classroom, I'll have a topic that says videos, and this assignment will be under it. So it's just kind of a way to organize your Google Classroom. So that's all the options you have on the right side. Now let's go back to this main area. The title of your assignment. So I'm going to, I have a growth mindset video just to play with. So I'm going to call it growth mindset. You write the instructions, so let's say I want them to watch the video and then reflect with a partner on what it meant to you. Um, this is where you can put anything, what you want them to do, where you want them to go, what your expectations are, anything instruction-wise. So now I want to say, I want to add the video that they're going to watch that I've get put in the instructions. This add button is going to be mainly where you put anything in an assignment. So you're going to click add and you have options. We're going to go through these options in other videos. Right now I'm concentrating on the link and the YouTube. So you can add a Google Drive, a link, a file, or a video straight from YouTube. So I've already picked my video. I have it on another tab. I've picked Growth Mindset Students. Now when you first pop up a video, it's going to say at the bottom, video not approved for Curry Talk 
.k12.nc.us. You want to make sure you've watched the video all the way through and it's appropriate before you click approve. So once you've watched it and it's okay and it's a part of your assignment, then you want to click approve. So then I need to copy the link because that's what I'm going to post to Google Classroom. So up here in your address bar, you have your link to this specific video because I've, I've already pulled it up. You're going to click up here, make sure the whole link is highlighted in blue and you're going to right click on top of the link and click copy. So now I have that link copied. So now I can go back to my assignment and I can click add and I can click link and then I can right click on the link box, paste, and then add link. So now that video is now posted inside Google Classroom. So they can click it and it'll play inside Google Classroom. Another way to also add a video, especially if it's YouTube because YouTube and Google Classroom play really well together. You can click add YouTube. You can search the video right here. So I'm on under video search. I can search growth mindset class dojo. And there's the video right there. I would just click it. You can even watch it from in here if you want to quickly review it before you send it in, um, I can I can quickly play it and watch it. And then I would just click add. So now the same video is there that second way. The third way is you can click add YouTube again. Now let's say I already have, I've already copied and pasted the link so I don't really need to find it in YouTube. I can just click up here in URL and I can paste my YouTube link right here as well. So I can right click It'll pop up. Yes, that's the right video. I can click add. And now my assignment's ready. Now, before I click assign, I have a few more options. I can click this little drop down menu with the drop down arrow, and I can assign it right now, and it'll pop up on their Google Classroom. I can schedule it. So, let's say I'm planning ahead, I don't want them to see this assignment until Monday. I can click schedule and more drop down menus. When do I want it to pop? When do I want it to show on their Google Classroom? So let's say I don't want it to show till the 30th. Um, well, I've due March 27th, so I don't want it to show till next Monday. Um, and it can show at eight o'clock in the morning or whenever, whatever time you want it to pop up. And then I can click schedule. Um, so they, it'll show up on mine screen as gray but on their screen, it will nothing will show up until March 23rd at 8 a.m. And then it'll come up on their screen. Another drop down menu up here next to assign is save draft. So I don't want this to come up on their screen. I'm not done editing it. I can just click save draft and then it will be a grayed out box on my side where I can edit later and add to it as I want to. But for right now, we're just going to click assign. <laughs> So now it brings me back to my Google Classwork. This is the teacher side. And I've made a new, this topics look like. So I've made a new topic videos and there's my assignment right there.